so first stage police is just not bothered <laughs> to file a case in an animal cruelty case and you mean like they won't even register a case they won't entertain they won't even write an fir they don't why it's... why wouldn't they what what's what's their disincentive because they are so overburdened first of all uh, it's sometimes it comes it comes as a shock to them that there is such an act for animals and when they <laughs> <laughs> actually and when they do come to know they are like why don't you settle it and because uh, the prevention of cruelty to animals act is a weak act the offense under its the the punishment and fine is so less that even the police says that why don't you settle it but there are of course some uh, serious cases like killing of an animal or rape of an animal in such cases with added pressure police do register firs and some of the cases we have got them registered but uh, after getting them registered and till going to the courts it's a long process and i think only half of a percent goes like you know if you have abandoned your dog or if you have uh, if you are keeping your pet animal in a cage for such cases no cases are registered and recently uh, i think you will be shocked to know it's a total different so criminal justice system has kind of changed in india in 1st july 2024 we have changed three criminal laws there there is a huge amendment that has come in place and we have changed our colonial era criminal justice system criminal laws and under it uh, there was the section 377 which was which made bestiality an offense that is raping an animal and in the new amended version it has been removed and now if there is a case of animal rape so there is no particular offense under which you will file the case you will file the case under section 325 which is a uh, maiming of an animal it is not rape of an animal or sexual crime against any so but we are working towards it we are sure that it will come it will be added yeah i mean i'm i'm thinking like this is not a problem that my personal my two senses that i, I don't get the sense that going to be able to solve this entirely legally this has to be a holistic approach this has to be a bottom up and a top down where society needs to get enlightened we need to look at the real like data and once you grasp with the idea that animals are sentient we we are i mean they they can experience all these states of suffering and pain and psychological suffering and all of these things then it's a no brainer right you know i think um, there is no deny that animals are sentient people are aware of it it's i think it's but obvious if you you keep seeing there are stray animals everywhere in india and by just by seeing you can see that they are sentient yes we agree that they're sentient but a vast majority of population is in indifferent like we we talk earlier it's like we don't even it's not even on our radar to think that they are feeling beings yeah the reason is because they think that animals are for our use right. this is how all this got started and this is the reason why animals are property unless animals remains the property of humans they will be treated like this and that is why that's the reason from animal welfare we are moving to animal rights so that certain rights can be given to animals when you file these cases we understand it because we have done the research but we have to explain to the judge what we are saying you know judges are like clueless what you are saying what you are talking about <laughs> <laughs> even even the judges are like the part of that zeit guys which is like yes. what do you mean this animal is sentient exactly yeah but it's also like i feel like at some level when you speak about dogs it's like a societal it's like we've also kind of not defined what cruelty means it doesn't mean a one on one cruelty right humans evolved we created automobiles and we never we forgot to mention we forgot to have communion with animals and say hey look we're going to have these metal boxes running at 100 miles an hour or 80 miles an hour on a on a road we drop the ball at a society level it's not just individual belief system right yes it at a society level and now these accidents and maiming is not only confined to dogs now it has become kind of a common sight that you know uh, elephants are roaming somewhere near the village we have created that pro this problem right. animals are not the one who shall who should be punished and this this is what when i say the anthropocentric nature because we only think about ourselves we are not thinking of animals there are uh, in uttarakhand the himalaya region of the country 
there are a lot of cases where you know le- leopards come out of the forest and yeah. they, they either they are eating these street dogs or they take away the human child and then of course if an animal is taking the human child then of course it is a prob- it is problematic and they're going to find it and slaughter it and then kill it or something and kill because then here he here comes the problem of animal rights and human rights then right. of course the human rights most of the time prevails because nobody is ready to understand why that leopard has come out because we have encroached the land and everything and we have and even if the land has been encroached there is no system in place there is no boundary has been created so that the animals at least do not come out if we see india uh, as for the ancient india starting from the history the protection of cows is based on the religious sanctity and it is also you know in the india constitution in under article 48 uh, it is given that slaughter of the cow should be protected from the slaughter and that their breach should be protected when india got independence uh, there were a lot of debates happening in the constituent, constituent assembly that what how to put the provision regarding cows so uh, earlier the thought was that protection of cows should be a fundamental right but then after discussions it was added under the dpsp directive principles of state policy under article 48 to protect the cows so why dpsp because fundamental rights are enforceable you can go to court to enforce if uh, you can go to the uh, to court to for, for a case to protect the cow if you see a cow is being slaughtered but if it is under dpsp so it it becomes like a moral principle and not exactly the right which is enforceable in the court now when a cow has stopped giving milk if it's not a milking cow what will happen to that cow generally what was happening is once the cattle is not giving milk they are they go to the slaughter industry to slaughter oh they do this is yeah. in india yeah this happens in india and in all over the world this happens oh, wow really yeah so this they're, is they're this not let out to like graze out in the open or anything like that they're straight yeah. taken to the slaughterhouse yeah so this is a chain wow. so from there you get the leather and everything then yeah. india is the i think one of the best uh, leather industry india has it so after this cow slaughter act the leather that is coming now the the majorly draft cattle that are going for slaughter are buffaloes and not cows cows may be going but they are going you know by smuggling or anything something like that because now there is prohibition on slaughtering of cows so if cows are not going for slaughter what is happening because things are not into place though there are there is cow slaughter act now there are policies in almost every state to make goshalas goshalas means cow shelters the, the cow shelters are in bad shape there are not enough cow shelters and there is no enforcement so when a cow has stopped giving milk they are on the streets female cows are on the streets and the protection is not for the male cows who are i think ox mm-hmm. the male cows Oops. are ox yeah. bulls the protection is not for them so even they are on the street so as we have um, stray animal problem stray dogs and stray stray cattle so that is why we have stray cattle the some of the cattle are there in the goshalas but if you see the condition i think i don't know the percentage but it would be very less because most of the goshalas don't have you know um, proper care in place either they are on the streets eating garbage eating plastic or they are in the goshalas actually after this government the cow slaughter act came into place in most of the states and in the garb of it the things are not happen in a correct way and you know the another irony is that what we are whatsoever entity we are praying to they are in the bad condition either they are cows or they are elephants or they are women the thing the entities we are praying to they are the thing that are that are right. in the ironically we, we ill treat the most <laughs> that they are the ill treated the most it's same with the elephants because um elephants are seen as a symbol of god ganesha and uh, but not only in hindu religion but like in south india i think you might be aware that in temples elephants are used and yes. they are it's it's something very terrible but even in you know some processions of another religion also elephants are used and they are in the worst possible condition elephant is a social animal it is a wild animal who is being used 
for such thing there is band baja all over the elephant and psychologically and physically it's not good for an elephant and there are an incidents where elephants have killed people because mm-hmm. of i have seen videos of that yes yeah so the more you pray the more you the more ill treatment is there but even uh, why why cow cow slaughter act it is also because of the votes to who the uh, majority of voters and it is so culturally in built even not only cows like people think it is okay to use even elephants for such things they think this is our culture and tradition so what is needed what is needed is the education to educate these people we keep sending representations to stop using elephants to stop taming wild elephants into captivity to stop using elephants in temples but you know if government pass any such order there will be a lot of hue and cry from the community from the right. temple side and it's not easy for them to end it